Just sum up if you can uh, about how, how eventful <coughs> afternoon it was. Yeah, just in terms of the game, I thought it was two good teams um, having a go at each other. Um, I thought first half, I thought we were outstanding first half. But to come here and put in play in that manner, I thought we were outstanding. Um, and then obviously there was a bit of pressure on the in the second half. The, the, the killer really is the goal they scored straight after half-time. That's the hard one, it, it makes the crowd go up. You know, I've just looked at the stats and you feel like you're under pressure all the game in stats are neck and neck. Um, so it, the crowd come into it. Um, I'd say we're a young team, um, new experiences for them in terms of being the better team more often than not now in games, first start, and first half throughout games. Um, and now we've just got to show that little bit of belief when we when we take the lead in games like this um, to really kill it off. When you got on the coach who ran about Saturday lunchtime, if you were thinking about coming, you obviously come out to win the game, but if you take a point, Matt, you, you'd be satisfied. I suppose you're still satisfied, but a little bit disappointed it went away from you for the three points deep in injury time. Yeah, of course, we'd be really disappointed we've, we've not won a football match um, from the position we were in um, against 10 men. I actually thought that made made them better. Um, I think that they overcomplicated what they did um, and got their danger men more into the game. Um, which is hard to stop because you're missing out everything on the pitch to be able to, to get the ball up to them. So I think that actually improved them because I thought we were the better team 11 v 11. Um, but again, I do things in weeks. We won last week. Um, three points. A, a draw from home. Again, yes, we're disappointed, but now we, we go on to Tuesday looking to win again. It's going to be another difficult team again. The game against the team who's right up there. But it's good to build that little bit of momentum away from home, you know, as you say, you'd, you'd take the four points from your last two games, add in a, another one that, that, you know, against Wrexham. Yeah, and, and don't let me think I'm just standing here going, oh, well done, and you've got a point. The, the obvious is the obvious when you play against ten men, ten men and you, you take the lead in the game, can you, you know, can you see it through? Um, but again, resilience from the players um, in moments of the game when they had to, um, we've just got to work on, on, on that. Um, been a, a little bit more efficient when we get higher up the pitch in terms of keeping the ball. I don't mean goals, because obviously we're scoring goals, but just decision making and um, what we do when we get in the final third, when we're in them situations. You mentioned it, you know, it's, it's still a learning curve for quite a lot of the players, isn't it? And experiences like this can only can only help them going forward. Yeah, I mean, I've gone into the dressing room after the game and, you know, it's silent. Um, obviously, a couple of players are saying a couple of things, which is good, which is good to hear, um, because that the groups believe in where we think we can be this season so they're really bought into it and they believe where they should be so there's obviously that, that disappointment um, we will address it tomorrow uh, the game I didn't do my team talk after the game based on emotion of what had gone on and the crowd and etc I'll do that tomorrow and address the players on Monday with it um, but w with the negative that there was in the game in terms of the goals we conceded there were so many positives to come here particularly first half of the 11 players like I say I, I thought we were outstanding and there will not be many teams who come here and were able to perform like that A little concerning when Shiloh Tracy had a, a bad tackle put on him and obviously the referee showed a red card to their, their player but full credit to him he, he came through it I saw you wince actually turn around in your, in your Chetan player when you saw that particular tackle coming in but he kept himself going and he's now become a, another player on the score sheet. Yeah, really, really delighted for him, and there was um, a lot of talk on the on the bench from the coaches to me about just to, tweaking the formation. And as soon as we did that, he popped up in the middle of the goal and got his finish. And I thought Rio did excellent. And I thought he had a good afternoon. Rio, a really good afternoon. Um, the sending off. Um, I think the lads actually slipped and, and made him go over the ball a little bit. Again, I need to watch it back. But what I'm more disappointed with is when Rio's gone into the box to get a clear opportunity to shoot glad he's on a caution now I don't want players sent off but that, that's not me but to then throw around double jeopardy that doesn't work for yellow cards it's only for red cards that's been told to us um, that's the one I'm, I'm really disappointed with because um, I thought for a, for a spell I thought the game just got out of control um, and it needed um, to be brought back down Well you reached a 10 game mark and you, 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 you know, just one defeat in 10 as well yeah, one defeat in ten and probably a couple more wins we should have had in there. Um, and some might say a couple of losses in there, but that's the, um, the durability of this team, being able to grind out results, particularly when we've gone behind. Um, but no, after ten games, really pleased with the start um, and I'm sure there's more to come from this group.